I mean, did you ever know the name Morgan Wade before this? I mean, I'm sure country music fans did, but not most of us, right? No, I don't even know how big she was in the country world. I mean, she certainly wasn't A-list, and now suddenly everybody knows her name. Not a bad year for Morgan Wade. I don't care how you slice it, right? Right. So, again, Bravo had to go. Cameras back up with another scandal. And this wasn't even a scandal. This was more of like a whodunit. Who done it? I mean, she's on the show. Like she's been on the show. We had the scene with her and Kyle. She calls Kyle. Kyle picks up. You see her face on the other end of the phone. I am just, this one still, I told you last night when we were talking, this one still confuses me. I still am just so confused. Like she, she was at, now Kathy says, Kathy met her and Kathy says she loves her. So I think at this point, sure, Kathy would invite her to the Christmas party, but she was at Kathy's Christmas party with what looked to be Kyle. Like I imagine they went together. That's that's the weird part. We're not filming a show now. Why are you bringing this person to Kathy's Christmas party? Seems like that's, I mean, you're that good of friends? First of all. You we, and I are good they, friends. We don't go everywhere they, together. They know the pictures are going to get picked up. So technically it is still the show. Let's be honest. Correct. If you want privacy, you don't post. Kathy's Christmas party was sponsored by direct TV. And I mean, if you saw the list of Bravo liberties that were there, I'm like, okay, this person has no clue of who, I mean, Kathy knows yeah. they all know who Kathy is, but you're like, Kathy doesn't know who this one is. That one is there were people from Southern charm there. I'm like, Kathy doesn't know any of these people. Oh Hell no. She doesn't No, But So the original story was, and correct me if I'm wrong, that Morgan was Kyle's sober buddy. And that was out there, yeah. Right. And sometimes that they some you have a sponsor, and very often people find and reach out to some people who are sober and they become accountable to each other, not just to their sponsor. And they're thought of as a sober buddy. And there are actually people called sober coaches that travel with people and celebrities and musicians on the road to help them. But so everyone kept saying that Morgan was Kyle's sober buddy. And that's why they were always together. They did. And I mean, like Kyle is like, she's not sober. Like She's not drinking. She feels great not drinking. She's given up drinking, but she hasn't like gone through a program where she has a real addiction problem. I mean, there's right. Like she's not in, in not AA. That I've heard. Not no, that I've heard. she just decided like she feels good not drinking. Well, guess what? When I don't drink, I feel great the next day too. Like, okay. So calling her a sober buddy is kind of a misnomer. I think so. In what it means within that industry. Yeah, like Kyle, for all I know, can have a drink and then be hungover and have a bad day and then say, well, that was dumb. I'm going to not drink now for another six months. Right. Like That's people what people do- that, yeah, I mean, I do that all the time. Well, people, you know, sit, we're coming on to sober January. Um Okay, Morgan's new song. You and I talked about that. I haven't heard it. You said it does everything but say the word Kyle. It references, you know, it references like the bling bling, you know, my friend from Beverly Hills and bling bling housewife. And it talks about like hanging out at Chateau Marmont with her. I mean, now Morgan has since done an interview where she's like, oh, I've never been to Chateau Marmont. It's just it's just a song. Okay, well, but first of all, you say Chateau Marmont and everybody knows where it is and what it is. So just because you haven't been there doesn't mean you don't have to reference it. You don't know what it is and you can't reference it. We all get a picture of like you're in some bungalow there in the dark with Kyle and, you know, it's kind of like an A-list crowd there. So, yeah, I mean, like certainly if you live in L.A., you know what Chateau Marmont is. Do you think that's her way of... Here's what I wonder. How long is Morgan going to be willing to play this game of cat and mouse before she's like, okay, we're coming clean? You know, because that that happens. That happens a lot. Yeah, and I mean, if there's really nothing going on, like eventually 
doesn't she want to date somebody else? I mean, doesn't Kyle like yeah. eventually like the real world is going to set in? Like, aren't you going to meet somebody that you actually are going to be seen with somewhere? Yeah. And, and it's all very confusing, especially because Kyle and Maurizio were posting or the picture from all of them and Aspen together. Like it's all, but then you find out Morgan was now, it's all so confusing, but it's making us watch. So now Maurizio was on Dancing with the Stars and suddenly there were photos of him looking cozy with his partner. And then you just sent me a photo of him looking cozy with some social media influencer. Do we think, it's just so hard to believe what's real. It's so hard to believe what's real because no, we really don't see much, right? Like there's really no picture. There's no video of Mauricio making out with any of these people. There's no video with like Kyle's making out with Morgan. So it's all just like a little touch here, like a little hand graze there. So, I mean, I, really I'm confused because I'm like, you like, what do you have to gain from the publicity? Like you have it now, like it's already a thing I mean, I guess, look, it got Mauricio on Dancing with the Stars. It certainly helped. It got Morgan is touring with Alanis Morissette and Joan Jett now. She's opening for both of them. That's a pretty good gig for her. That's a huge gig. Huge right? gig. Yes. Because I still can't really tell you anything about her music. Like, do I like Joan Jett? Sure. Do I like Alanis Morissette? I might go to that concert. I'll sit there. I'll say like, wow, this girl's really good. She's going to it's she's gonna sell stuff from that. So I don't. it's not like Kyle's. I don't understand because Kyle's position was not in jeopardy. It's not in jeopardy on the show. It mm -hmm. never was. I mean, she's like the lead of the show, according to Andy. Like, they're not going to get rid of her. So I just don't understand if it's all publicity. You didn't really need this. I mean, I know it's Hollywood and L.A. and you, we all need it, I guess. Like, that's just how it works. But, I mean, we all knew who Kyle was. Like, she was thriving in the public eye before this. No. Yeah, I th I think so, but it's um you know, it, it I hate not knowing if it's real. You know, yeah. and I haven't seen anything. You know, whoever is the newly single guy is always the one that they say is having an affair with their partner on Dancing with the Stars. That's we've heard, how many times have we heard this story? We heard it's, it about Erica Jane when she was on it right after Tom and over everybody. And over. That's the ongoing story. But the w thing that was the most interesting, like I said, was the social media influencer. Because she didn't look like she was going to be working with him. I don't think that's who ta who uh, Maurizio would hire to yeah. run like his I, social media. I think he has a big team. And, you know, it's like the agency social media. And it's a real, Mauricio has a real business. Yeah, I don't think he's going to, this just looked like, you know, some college Coffee. kid. <laughs> yeah. Coffee. Yeah. You like, know. So, uh, continuing down our Real 